America is extraordinary. Let me tell you, if we don't get this election right, there may be no turning back for America. We are on the verge of being the first generation of Americans that leave our children worse off than ourselves. The Second Amendment is not an option. It is not a suggestion. It is a constitutional right of every American to be able to protect themselves and their families. That was Marco Rubio's highest moment of this debate, and several people here did think that he won it. He was direct, he was emphatic, he was passionate. We cannot afford to have a president of the United States that supports gun control. This president is more interested in funding Planned Parenthood than he is in funding the military. Chris Christie wrote a check to Planned Parenthood. All I'm saying is our next president has to be someone that undoes the damage Barack Obama has done to this country. Ted Cruz, you used to say you supported doubling the number of green cards. Now you say that you're against it. You used to support a 500% increase in the number of guest workers. Now you say that you're against it. You used, to port, you used to support legalizing people that were here illegally. Now you say you're against it. You used to say that you were in favor of birthright citizenship. Now you say that you are against it. And by the way, it's not just on immigration. You used to support TPA. Now you say you're against it. I saw you on the Senate floor flip your vote on crop insurance because they told you it would help you in Iowa. And last week we all saw you flip your vote on ethanol in Iowa for the same reason. That is not consistent conservatism. That is political calculation. When I'm president, I will work consistently every single day to keep this country safe, not call Edward Snowden, as you did, a great public servant. Edward Snowden is a traitor. And if I am president and we get our hands on him, he is standing trial for treason. Every single time that there has been a defense bill in the Senate, three people team up to vote against it. Bernie Sanders, Rand Paul, and Ted Cruz. In fact, the only budget you have ever voted for, Ted, in your entire time in the Senate is a budget from Rand Paul that brags about how it cuts defense. If I'm president of the United States and Congress tries to cut the military, I will veto that in a millisecond. Had a combination of articulateness and passion, and that passion is there all the time. I think he had good moments. He had a great moment on national security. Superstar. He has a good command of the issues. Unwavering. I think we have to get back to what this election has to be about. This is the greatest country in the history of mankind. And when I'm president, we're not just going to have a president that gives the State of the Union and says America's the greatest country in the world. When I'm president, we're going to have a president that acts like it. Thank you, Senator. Hey, it's Marco Rubio. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get our campaign's latest videos. Go ahead. I'll wait.